Hello guys. Welcome to Azure Talk. I am Sachin Kalia. With me, my friend Abhishek Matre. Hi Abhishek. How are you doing? Hi Sachin. I am doing good. How are you doing? Yeah, all good. Thank you. Good to know. Yeah. So this is in continuation of the last demonstration, which was all about how can we create a build pipeline through Azure DevOps. So I would highly recommend our viewers to go through our channel to look after that video prior to proceed with this demonstration. So probably uh, as as far as I know, uh, this will be a release pipeline. Yes. What is your input that, on this? That's, that's absolutely true. Last time we left on build pipeline. This time uh, we should go with the, the release pipeline. We will look at how we can place uh, the changes and those changes will automatically be gone through the build pipeline first, then it would be deployed to the Azure successfully on the web application. Right? Okay, I'm starting. This is my screen. And last time we left upon, we have created one Azure ASP.NET Core application, dummy application by default, which uh, Azure gives, Microsoft gives. So here, uh, before as a prerequisite because we are going to create a release pipeline today as a prerequisite we need one web blank azure talk application and we did last time and we deployed our uh, application there itself so current result of this application is this one so in this release pipeline let me start with this i have logged in into azure devops portal where this time we are going to work upon this section which is called release under the pipeline there are options like uh, either you can create the new pipeline or maybe if there is an existing you can modify that also so i'm going to create a very fresh a new pipeline clicking on this the next screen will first ask it for a template you have various options first is the empty did job, whereas uh, not, no template is predefined, but uh, you have to choose, you have to write everything from the scratch. But in my case, because I already have uh, my web app, Azure web app available, so I would prefer to go with this option, Azure app service deployment. Click on this. This step will now ask for certain uh, Further properties like uh, stage name, what the stage name you wanted to give. I would give my name production, just for example, and the stage owner is myself. And uh, that's it. It has two different sections artifacts and stages. In the artifact part, you have some add from here or there. You can click on the artifact first. Because we have already uh, built artifacts ready with us in the la as per the last uh, demonstration, my project name is Azure Talk Project. Here you can uh, cross check, and the source is click on this, and my source is this one. If you have gone through with the previous video, you must have the clue of all the things I am choosing here. So that is why Sachin said highly recommended to look after the previous video which uh, the description, uh, you will find the link in the description itself. Here, the default version is latest and source allies, I am not going to change anything from here. I'm going to click add and my artifacts are now added. That is the stage in where, where I wish to basically uh, push my code. So in this uh, production stage, I will click on the this thing. And if you see, some settings and uh, needs attention. In the right hand side, my production stage needs some Azure subscription validation. We have to authorize uh, this thing. So let me select my subscription. This is my subscription ID. And uh, I need to authorize this first. Click on this. A new pop-up would come where you uh, I have to give my uh, credentials. Uh, this is, a, yep, this thing username and password once i pass my credentials it will be validated by microsoft 
portal and if it is successful then there would be some green signal yeah uh, it's taking time yeah so my subscription is applicable here the field is linked to one setting deploy azure app service now so app type is web app on windows that's true i am doing that although i have various other options but because my web app is up, i have hosted this web app on windows environment so let me select this option only what application what service name you wanted to give to this uh, let me select azure oh. talk app where i wanted yeah. to really deploy this although because yes. this is giving me the couple of other options because i have three different applications uh, where i can host this i have selected this one right and uh, yeah. uh, save this let the setting be as is release pipe line that's it any comment is passed go there and check for your uh, given values all seems fine and then you can go and uh, uh, there are other options as well after the pipeline you have the tasks where only single task is uh, ready and uh, you can set the variables you can keep the retention option last time i i mean in the during the build pipeline we have discussed all these things we are going to create release now so my stage is production i have chosen this and just uh, uh, look at this option pipeline this is this is an event i would tell you about this also so this will prepare the artifacts uh, the description is uh, first release for example and create now the release one has been created okay there would be one glitch this release because uh, we have recently created and we have not allowed this this particular release to get started automatically on the trigger based so if we do not do this so we have to remember one thing after build we have to manually come to this area and we have to run this uh, release pipeline if you wanted to uh, get skip of uh, you know get rid of this problem so you may go here in the artifact click on this and choose this option continuous deployment trigger click on this and just make it enable that's it yeah this would automatically start your build trigger and save yes. it yeah no comment i'm passing no comment yeah i would Same. like to add one more point uh, yeah, to this so uh, for the viewers so kindly consider this whenever you want to enable this option ensure that you are not pushing the code to your production because uh, as soon as it trigger you change anything into your build pipeline the continuous trigger works upon that manner right it will push the entire code into your production environment so be careful while you do in case of the production environment and in continuation to uh, such an statement i would say because that is why we have the two different teams one team is uh, responsible until build and another release team is especially specifically meant for this purpose only they yeah. that is why they manually intervene because otherwise any anything any garbage could also be gone to the production directly if we allow this option uh, we uh, enable this option uh, then okay so uh, let me go to my repo quickly and uh, i'm going to make certain change in any of the files for example index.cshtml as we did last time in uh, during build and what i'm going to do is welcome to azure talk um, say release pipeline demo i'm sorry my bad uh, edit has to be done i'm saying release pipeline demo i made yeah. this change i need to commit this change first uh, updated text text on index uh, sorry index css html and because master branch is this no need to worry about it and simply commit my commit is done as soon as my commit is done uh, let me go to the pipeline and build first because by nature build has to be uh started first see uh, my build has started yeah it is automatically started 
and uh, one job is there in the pipeline. You see, just now it is started, and we can see the status of our uh, this uh, build in detail. We can click on agent job, and let's see what what it is happening in the background. The build is running, agent job is working fine till the time, and within a few seconds or maybe uh, some duration, it will result me whether it is successful or failure. So it's working. After some time, it has completed all the relevant jobs in background and given us the green signal. Uh, it means every job is passed. Go back to the release pipeline and this release pipeline was success and it has taken 32 seconds to complete all the activities. Now, shall we go to release pipeline and you see uh, the release pipeline is also done successfully. Meantime, we were talking and we were looking at the build. So let me see and check. Uh, we wait the big improvement. Some yeah, see, uh, the it is successfully done. Successfully done, and uh, yeah. it has take. Uh, it was successfully done on two fifty nine, few seconds ago. Right. Okay. Uh, it's time to see what the difference has come. This is the website, and let me refresh this website. This is the res final result. So it means we received the changes very, very successfully, and uh, we have to. We can also look after that after uh, restarting our web app. So that is the small demo. One quickly, uh, we can do one thing more. Uh, we can commit one more thing. Uh, see, for example, go to uh, files, page, index, any file, I mean, release pipeline demo, success, uh, edit, and I say success, and commit, I would say HTML release success. Uh, I mean, you can make any sort of change from any, uh, it does not mean you should have only the ASP.NET Core application, any kind of code, it would accept no challenges for that. So uh, I did it and uh, let me go back to pipeline and build. See my task has started. Uh, fourth, this latest one is started. Go to agent job. And there are various tasks agent job is working upon and they are getting successful. Immediately we'll switch over as soon as it is done. We will switch over to release pipeline and uh, wait for the new task. Yeah. So new pipeline has started. Release pipeline, release number three. And if you see into it, it is currently in queued stage within a few seconds. And let me click on this queued as well. Running the agent. And it is finally connecting to uh, the agent. Agent is running. We probably have to wait for a few seconds until it gives the result. So the release job has started and quickly it is done. Uh, it has taken 21 total seconds of completing this task and we can see the result again. Go back to application, refresh, let's see. Yeah, so my last statement, last change has also come here. So that is the simplest example of how to prepare a release pipeline after successful build and automatically and trigger based. That's it, Sachin, from my side. Yeah. So uh, some uh, concluding the demonstration, uh, we have already created a build pipeline earlier to this demonstration. Abhishek has demonstrated us how can we create a release pipeline, how can we utilize artifacts there were various options available but for our own purpose we have utilized the build pipeline artifacts and abhishek created a azure base app service 
as a earlier notification and that he has utilized it into the release pipeline in order to push the entire artifacts whatever we have used from the build pipeline and push the entire code there so i think in a simplistic manner we have achieved very good things and hope for the viewers uh, they would have a better understanding of how can we build a dot net core based application and how can we create its own respective release pipeline in order to push entire code from your repository to your as your base application yeah yeah fantastic yeah. abhishek thank you very fantastic. much Sajin. yeah and uh, so, can you can you show your uh, details uh, yeah uh, guys you can reach me over twitter it is dot net piper you can reach me through my blog dot net piper dot com and my email is mentioned just over the shoulder of abhishek <laughs> yes abhishek okay thank you and uh, myself is accessible on twitter at the rate abhimatre is my twitter handle and my email id is son of spm at outlook.com and we together this show is not for just sending or giving some uh, demonstration and knowledge to you this is a talk show so me and sachin talk together we uh, get some problem ready and we got the solution as well so thank you for participation